Pico has something called scaling, which is more like a vertical zoom. Currently, my pattern is running, I have it triggered, I have set at 5 milliseconds per division, and my channel A is on 5 volts. If we want to zoom vertically, we're going to come under the A channel properties menu, and here's your axis scaling. Now, if I choose to scale it at a two times or twice as much, what you'll notice is that everything got bigger, but look at the scale on the side. It now reads 2.5 positive and 2.5 negative. And my pattern is off the screen, so I can't see the top of my voltage spike. So let's come over to the properties of the A channel, and let's change the offset. Let's move this down to something like a minus 10. And now we can clearly see the top of my waveform. And the top voltage now reads 3.5 volts, while the bottom voltage is a negative 1.5. This gives me a clearer view of my pattern. Now if I decide I want to go up to a three times pattern, it's clearly off the screen again. So we're going to come down here and we're going to actually take this to a minus 20%. Now here you'll see that the bottom part of the pattern is off the screen and we can't see that. So that would not be an acceptable setting. If we get somewhere around a minus 15%, now you can see that we're up somewhere around 3.167 voltage on the positive side on the left, down to a negative 0.167 voltage on the left lower left-hand side. Now we've got a much better picture of this waveform pattern. If I need to stretch it out, obviously I can come down here and decrease my time base.